Hi guys, my name is Henny. Welcome to Fontaine Woodcraft. Uh, I've got a Facebook page as well. Uh, Fontaine Woodcraft, of course. Uh, uh, if you would like to uh, like the page, uh, that would be uh, appreciated. Um, uh, click on photos, scroll down to albums and have a look at my gallery. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I make salt and pepper mills. This is a uh, a square blank of about 80 millimeters then you round it off I make my body about 220 and the top 80 the feature of my work one moment please the feature of my work is the grain of the wood uh, the top and the body is a line in order to do that, you've got to insert another spigot. Sorry, I didn't tell you about the wood. <clears throat> this is nice now, stink wood coming from the garden root. Um, subtropical area um, of South Africa. I'm making uh, four um, grinders. Uh, usually I make about uh, a ten at a time but I've only got um, four blanks of stink wood left. So what I'm going to do now is to drill a 20 millimeter uh, hole with a fastener bit uh, f uh, just a couple of millimeters deep, say about five. Body. I'm going to do the bottom of the body first with a drill a hole of a 45 millimeter force in a bit, 22 millimeters deep. Thereafter, I will proceed with a 38 millimeter right through. around and I will proceed to drill a 38 millimeter right through. After drilling you can see the step over there with the 38 and uh, it's right through. Make the spigots for all the mills. Um, spigots yep. this uh, grinding mechanism the top part it's got gripping lips over there and <clears throat> I've got to cut a groove inside and for that I'm using a homemade tool that was just an ordinary Furniture chisel. Just make sure that the top doesn't turn oval. If it's oval, then you've got to fix it over here. Mountain uh, the body in the lathe with the center stand 
and I'm going to proceed by with a parting tool by uh, flushing I've turned the body around I'm working on the bottom of the body Steady rest and chuck. Already started to cut um, with the uh, copier um, blade. I'm not going to bore you with a lot of it. Uh, I'll show you how it works and uh, more or less where I get to the um, end of the shape. shape of uh, the nearly finished shellac flakes in South Africa. Nothing like the US uh, paste of shellac. We can't import it uh, because of the flight regulations. I've mixed it um, with uh, boiled linseed oil. Um, I've um, dissolved the flakes in thinness and uh, the previously I dissolved it in uh, methylated spirits but that didn't give me a good shine. The second last job is to put the indicator for the spice. I've um, turned down a, a purple heart piece and I fit it into that 20 millimeter hole Previously I said a 22mm, but it's a 20 uh, I'm going to part it with a putty knife. It came off successfully, so I'm going to do the rest with a parting tool. orange tree wood. I'm just marking it so I can cut it off on a bandsaw. Put um, super glue 305 in that hole. Clear out uh, all the dust and then um, put some. the <coughs> top part of the mechanism is 24.77 and my hole that I've drilled in the top of the mill was 22 so I need to I need to trim it a bit ready to insert this part in here it's a bit of a tight fit there you are I'm going to mix a Prattly epoxy I use Wonder Fix I got a Put a few, a few drops of. There you are. All that you've got to do is to, is to clear the, the excess of the.
this is an old mill. Uh, I'm going to use that to uh, knock the... I'm ready for that. Mm. It's a bit stiff. Any for watching, please subscribe. There will, there will be a, a few more. And don't forget about the Facebook page. See you.